Thirsty Thursday with Michelle and I want to make for you today a dark and stormy so this past Tuesday was the International Dark and Stormy Day and what better than to make a classic cocktail so if you don't know dark and stormies are actually Bermuda's drink their national drink and so Bermuda is an island off the East Coast in the Atlantic Ocean almost parallel to the Carolinas because it's a British territory the British Navy would often find themselves there after a very tumultuous journey and particularly seasick. So they crafted ginger beer to help with that seasickness. And little by little, people started to add rum to aid with the seasickness until eventually it became a global cocktail, a liquid masterpiece, if you would say. So today I'm going to make that for you. So we start with a glass of ice, and it really is a two ingredient drink goslings black seal rum and ginger beer and the Gosling's ginger beer has become the number one selling ginger beer in the United States so it's no surprise that there were none in the stores when I got there so I'm using another brand of ginger beer and to start you're gonna put um, almost a cup full of ginger beer about a half a can so each can should be able to make two drinks and then um, I have a brand new bottle of Gosling's. So Gosling's Black Seal Black Rum and an item of note, you can hear Nico in the background, a dark and stormy is not considered a dark and stormy unless it's made with Gosling's Black Seal Rum. And so on top you're going to put two ounces um, if you like a dark or a heavy pour or a light pour, you can make that up for yourself. Um, you can use a measuring if you wanted to measure out two ounces, or you can do it by count depending on your I'm just preference. put that on top. Let me put a little bit more ginger beer in here. Okay. You can tell I'm not as trained but anyway so <laughs> and that's your dark and stormy people put on a lime wedge if you prefer um, we just have some regular lime juice in the house so I'll pour a little of that on top maybe a little more a little zesty taste and then the point of the dark and stormy is that when you put your straw in it to stir it up and you look closely it actually looks like a storm coming down from the sky And stormy. That's good. Enjoy. Let me know how it goes.